Ooh, chestnuts in the chat. Okay. Y'all are ruthless for that. Hassan's watching it right now, so I'm just going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Many of the comments found it hilarious. Very disrespectful, though. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, that, that's, that, that is like the biggest problem about this is like that you might be laughing at yourself being, uh, being like a bad guy in that situation. Like I get it. Super serious situations. Like I have a hard time processing emotions and I, uh, you know, I can sometimes have like uncontrollable giggles or whatever, but ultimately, wait, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? What I've been, I've been sending her uh, a Taylor Swift lyrics uh, is, is a good thing, not a bad thing, okay? I'm a Swifty now. Do you understand? Sometimes, it, you know, when your friends are hurt, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta drink. Hey guys, welcome. So, obviously, as y'all may know, here, let me say that I'm live. I'll keep, I'll keep this playing while I just go to social media and let people know. How to process serious emotions, you you uh, try to make light of the situation. It's a normal thing. It's it's still fucked up, but the worst part about that impact is that it minimizes the tragedy and it minimizes the um. It minimizes the the uh, way that others perceive cutie in that situation. But like I said, this is not like uh, something that Ethan would ride for I, I don't think as far as i know and uh i'm sure as, as like i said he already apologized for it as you guys were saying but like he'll apologize again for it as i know he will but what he should do also on top of that is apologize or talk to uh talk to cutie cinderella okay directly. i will say the first the first thing i did when the stream ended was apologize directly to cutie cinderella that was the first thing I did. I messaged her. I said, I'm so, so sorry. It was super rude and inappropriate. You know, I tried to make it clear that, you know, as fucked up as it was, I wasn't laughing at her. I was laughing about this stupid fucking soundbite because I don't think it's funny what she's doing or what's happening. And so, yeah, I apologized to her. And I also apologized to Ludwig, even though I know it didn't happen to him. But I know, you know, I, yeah, so they're saying I should, I did. The minute that the fucking ended, I messaged her. When I saw it, like, circulating on live stream fails or whatever, I was just like, hey, you're probably going to see this clip of me. I just want to tell you that it was super fucked up. And I, she did respond, but I don't, I don't want to. And Ludwig also said something, but I'm not going to share uh, what what was spoken about by them. But I will say that I did apologize. Immediately. Literally the first second we came off air. Because ultimately, I just feel bad for her, right? Like, whatever you think about the joke or... I don't even know what's the joke. Whatever you think about what happened, like, ultimately, I just feel bad for her because, you know, <coughs> she was going through something serious, and uh, I, I, to make to uh, the thought of making her feel worse in a situation that's already really hard made me feel really, really bad. And so I'm very sorry to her. Yeah. Hassan was just reacting to it. So I wanted to see, but I wanted to make that clear. Is literally, I went immediately and I apologized to her. I can read you by message I sent her. I'm not going to read you what she said, though. I mean, she's free to share that. I don't think she cares, though. You know what I mean? I don't think she gives a fuck about me. 
or at least like in the scheme of things, I think that she probably doesn't want to think about me. You know what I mean? Like I'm not worthy of, yeah, I'm, I'm just a stupid fuck. She's not trying to, you know what I mean. Thank you. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, reposting everything to socials. Yeah, you know, it sucks that this is the only place. I think I'm going to have to make an Ethan Klein video because we have the steamies on Wednesday. So I'm not really given an opportunity to talk about it in the setting that I would like to. I and mean, we can talk about it on Friday, but... I would prefer not to wait that long. Oh, I guess we could talk about it on Thursday with Hassan. I'm sure he's mad at me. People don't know what happened. I mean, there was, you know. It was stupid, you guys. Oh, yeah, Chestnut. It, well, I the title is Chestnuts Roasting Over Open Fire. I don't know if it should be that or Chestnut Gate. Both are appropriate. Here, I was watching a uh, Hassan react to it. And him crying about, uh, uh, I think it was him crying about his dog, who he thought was dying at this moment. And then they fucking flipped it and put Ludwig uh, singing Chestnuts hmm. or whatever the fuck, which is the song that he was playing that he's been like obsessed with, the soundbite. Oh my god. It, it, it again. The reason why I just like I don't want to talk about this any further other than like uh the reason why I don't want to talk about this any further other than by the way, this is funny. It's a funny meme. If you're like hyper online and hyper obsessed with both of these fucking communities, but it's like it makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense to anyone else. I'm here to talk about fucking police brutality. Okay. Okay, that's where you're wrong. Uh I hate to kind of in any way, I'm not justifying what I did, but that Chestnut song is fucking very relevant to everything that happens. If you're watching a police beating someone to death, you better fucking hit that Chestnut drop. I'm just, bro, I'm telling you. It's something else. And it's not right. It's not right. I don't know what to say, man. That fucking guy ruining my life, bro. Okay. And now you motherfuckers are like, talk about Ethan's response, which I did, which is unacceptable. Okay? It's not good. It's bad. But if you want me to like meme over it further and further and like keep talking about it, keep talking about it. Like, it's just at a certain point. It Look, here's the, pro here's the thing with Hassan. Um, he's like really close friends with her. Okay? So like, I get it that he would be upset and that he would... Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to blame Hassan for being mad or saying anything about it. Because, like, that's his friend before I was his friend. So, it makes sense and it's fine. I get it. People are telling him to cancel leftovers, which I think is a little bit, a little bit crazy. But here, let's watch. These are clips from before that I found on the, on the subreddit. You, you're getting your wishes, okay? You're getting the, you're getting your wishes, all the drama frogs, everyone else that, that just exclusively is interested in, like, uh, blood sport or whatever, I will give in. I will cave to you, and I will describe, uh, what happened and what my opinions are. Even though it's, like, such an open and shut, obvious, like, Ethan did something very fucking wrong, and Atrioc did something. Dude, I wish I... I don't want to cause any problems. I haven't talked to Hassan, okay? So I'm just re I'm just reacting to what he said. Because actually, some people are mad at him, and I think that's ridiculous, too. And I think, let's just watch it. Whatever. Very fucking weird and gross. Both oh, are in... One thing that Ethan I do want to say here, actually... Obvious, like... Ethan did something very fucking wrong. Yeah. And Atrioc did something very fucking weird and gross. I don't like how he, like, holds them on the same pedestal, right? Like, I mean, I had a really... I did something really stupid. No, I accept that it's wrong. But let's not put it on the same pedestal, at least, right? Like, 
I feel like what he did has got to be at least a little worse than... I, you know what I mean? I didn't do, I didn't fucking, am I, I could call into a stream, let's see, like, I, yeah, it's like, I, I don't, I don't like this comparison, that's all I'm saying, I accept that what I did was fucked up, what do you want, I apologize, what are you fucking guys crazy, I literally texted her, what do you want me to say? You want me to delete my channel? Like, genuinely. I did apologize. Literally the first fucking thing. Um, Because people who are just watching him who don't know anything about me are going to be like, Oh, God, Ethan, like, it's like, I'm sorry. It was, uh, you know. Uh, let me see if Hassan wants to talk. But I get it. Hassan's being a good friend to her and Ludwig, which I totally understand. Right? Yeah, don't reach out. I guess you're right. Both are <laughs> indefensible. You know, I mean, what do you no, want? No I, I, I'm sorry, but saying, I mean, listen, what I did was indefensible, but I don't think they're equally indefensible. Okay. Like, am I crazy? Yeah, I was talking to Hassan. One sec, sorry guys, just all happening live right now. And then here's this, I guess, here, I don't know. And you should directly apologize to Q. Wait, how am I making it worse? I, 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 I said I fucked up. It's, it was fucked up. It was super fucked up and I feel horrible about it. And I immediately apologized to her. I don't, I don't. What the fuck? You're still associating with him? Wait, what? I mean, look, his his response is the same as mine. He said, if Cutie tells him, he'll cancel leftovers, which, I mean, she's not going to, I mean, I'd be shocked, but you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? I fucked up. There's no point in being like, oh, well, this and that is worse. Whatever. You know what I mean? That's it. No more chestnut soundbite? Yeah, see, I mean... Am I, I'm not trying to defend myself. Jesus Christ. How am I defending myself? I just said... You know, I don't know. But anyway, I feel horrible to Cutie. I immediately, I immediately apologized. And uh, I mean, look, she's, she didn't deserve that. And what's the saddest part about it is that I, the saddest part about it is that I actually really respect her. And I 100%, you know, think that the pain she's experiencing is totally valid. So I didn't, I, it just sucks that, uh, that I, I made her feel any, any worse in that really horrible situation she was in. I mean, she was super vulnerable and it was super fucked up. So, you know what I mean? That, that's what it is. I should rewatch Cutie's video. You really think that's a good idea? I come before you as a man who has fucked up, who feels horribly. I don't know what came over me, dude, in that moment. I'm a fucking demon, dude. I don't even know what to say. Like, the unfortunate truth about my life is that 
I have a history of doing this shit, bro. And I hate it every time. The first time this happened, I worked for this, in college, me and my buddy were working for this gardener. He was a super nice guy. He treated us great. He even bought us in and out for lunch every day, which was kind of insane at the time. Like, oh my God, it's so generous. Who would do that? Um, and then we, we were talking over lunch and he told, he mentioned that he was a, a Jehovah's witness. And, uh, me and my buddy, he was talking about like some really deep, I, I, I the fucked up thing was that I asked him, um, tell me about what you believe in. Like I asked him. And then him being the sweet soul that he is started to tell me um, in detail what it means. That's fair. The, the Madam You said, Ethan, I don't think you should cover breaking stories during a live. That's actually, that's a pretty good advice right there. Especially, like, sensitive ones, you know what I mean? That's actually a good idea. <coughs> yes, yeah, so, um, he start. I asked him, yo, tell me about what you believe in. And then he starts telling me, and, it, well, it was a little bit more intense than I uh, anticipated, but he told me just, like, that the end of day is coming, and uh, we believe in all this and, you know, that world end of the world is right around the corner and uh, the Jehovah. I don't I don't remember, but it was really intense like that. And I looked at my buddy and I just we looked at each other in the eyes. And we I knew in that moment that I was doomed. I was doomed. And I started fucking giggling right in his goddamn face. And I felt horrible. I asked this motherfucker to tell me about himself. And then, um, and then he goes, yeah, I guess it is a little bit nutty. Sounds a little bit nutty. He said that to me, which made me feel horrible. Well, somebody, yeah. Yeah, obviously I regret watching the video. The thing was, like, I was goofing and laughing about him apologizing with his wife, and I was in goblin mode already that whole fucking day after Rebecca Black. I need to, like, step away when I get in that mood. But, um... Well then, okay, so that's not even the worst part. So now we've established, me and my friend, when we stare each other in the eyes, we start laughing, okay? The worst part was like a few weeks later, and guys, this this is horrific. I think I've told this story once, and I'm just saying, like, this is just, this is one, the, probably the most, the worst fucking thing I've ever done. A friend, a mutual friend of ours, we were all into writing poetry and stuff. And, bro, this was so fucked up, dude. I, I told it once before, but oh my god, dude. And, uh... So, fuck. Yeah, don't share. People are saying don't share. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. I'm just being honest, though. I'm just being honest, right? Like, it's not, it's fucked up. It is what it is. And she's reading a poem about, like, uh, something terrible that happened to her childhood. Something, like, really serious. She's sharing it with us. And, you know, I like this person. I respect this person. I really care about this person. We're friends. And she's reading this poem to us. 
And I look at this motherfucker and we catch eyes real fast. Bro, I'm telling you, dude. That was one of the worst moments of my life. Because she's pouring her soul out and I literally... I couldn't stop laughing, dude. It was the worst feeling. Like, I wasn't even... It wasn't even funny and I wasn't even like... And it wasn't even good. It wasn't funny. It wasn't good. I couldn't stop laughing. It was horrible. And uh, she kept reading. I think he was laughing too. <laughs> Which is it's so insane. That she's opening her fucking heart to us. And we both start laughing. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. And uh, yeah, that's fucked up. And so it is fucked up. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. <sighs> yeah, I told that story before. But I don't know why she was reading, she was watching. I wasn't even listening to her, right? I was telling, and I told Zach, I said, play the fucking chestnut song, okay? I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna lay it all out. And I wasn't even really listening to what she said. I was just, I was just in my goblin had like uh you know what they call it their uh lizard brain i was in my goblin brain and i told zach play the fucking chestnut song it's not zach's fault at all by the way y'all shouldn't blame zach at all is it the tourette's people trying to give me an out it's not the tourette's i'm just a fucking psycho But the point is, is that I don't know why I did that, and I'm really sorry about it. You know? I mean, ultimately, this is Dan's fault for not having a kill switch earlier. Ultimately, we should all blame Dan for this the tragedy. I tried to blame Zach. It was a shtick. I wasn't gonna let him take. I wasn't gonna let him take the sword for it. I thought. I thought it would be funny for Zach's, you know, legacy because he. That's his whole thing with the Trisha thing and the. He did it once before. It was the the Trisha one and the Bobby Lee one. So I thought it would be, you know, part of his legacy. It could be part of his legacy, but. As soon as he made, seemed made it, made, voiced it that it, he made him uncomfortable, then I, then I knew I was gonna you know fess up. You know what I mean? I wasn't really gonna let Zach fucking take the heat, especially since he was uncomfortable. Yeah, but it's Dan's fault, so. Dan did not have the kill switch in time. Your idea of shtick isn't the best. Well. Well, no. You're right. Clearly not. Not in that moment. And the, the worst part about this is like. You know what? Let's rephrase that. Not the worst part, okay, but let's say, maybe, can we say the second worst part? Or top ten worst parts. Is that this fucking Chestnut song is now Tainted Love. And that's on me, dude. That's my fucking fault. You know what I mean? You know? There's probably there's probably worse parts, so I'm just gonna say top ten to be safe. Just nuts, streaming over open fire. Well, what about okay? What about like all chestnut songs, like the original? The original had nothing to do with this. So what? We can't listen to that one now. Like. I mean, it's okay. We could just like, I, I do, what do you, what do you want to talk about specifically? Let, let's just, let's just get, let's just go over it. 
It's all good. Okay, we, so we can't basically, I just fine. wanted to say that obviously, as soon or I don't know if it's obvious, but as soon as the stream ended, I immediately went and apologized to Cutie. Um, I told her that, you know, it was super fucked up and rude and ridiculous. And the worst part is that I really do respect her and, you know, feel that what she was going through was 100% valid. And, uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. And, uh, it was really bad and disrespectful. I understand she's a close friend of yours, too, and it sucks because, obviously, you don't have, it's not like you have to, listen, I fucked up and I feel horrible about it. And I... What? You're, you're cutting off. It's not like you don't have to, and then you cut off. The point is, is that I fucked up. I immediately apologized to her, and uh, I'm a giant idiot. What you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you, um did you did you talk to Cutie at all after or no? I don't know. I because I I messaged I, her, I, and okay. she 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 responded briefly. I don't want to say what she said, but uh, she she did respond. I also apologized to Ludwig and talked to brief, or he messaged me and we talked a tiny bit. But I apologize to both of them. So. Yeah. Look, as long as if Cutie forgave you, then that's that, that's what it is. It is what it is. I mean, I don't know if she did or not. I, I haven't asked her, but. Well, I don't um, know. I mean, listen, she doesn't have to forgive me. Uh, and that's, that's, you know what I mean? Like, it was fucked up. I fucked up. It was super rude. I felt horrible for her, you know? It's like. So yeah. what, what happened? What was going on in your mind when you, cause my assumption was that you were just, you were like, uh, you know, breaking through maybe in a goofy mood through, uh, the, the previous like Atrioc, uh, part of the conversation. And then you carried it on because it was like serious. You carried it on to like, uh, cutie's reaction, which was like fucked up. I mean, your reaction was, as you also correctly called out. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. The whole, yeah, we were goofing on his video a lot. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what, what in my head thought that that was going to be a funny moment. I don't know. You know what I mean? We were definitely goofing on his reaction. And I'll, I don't know what. I, it's hard to justify. So it happened and it was cringy and horrible. There, that You know what I mean? I don't really know what to say beyond that. Okay. All right. Well. Um. All right. I mean, I have I have nothing else. I yeah, just yeah. I like I I saw it. I thought it was you know awful. I didn't think it was like as bad as like uh, what Atrox did or anything. I don't know if that was like a a thing that you thought or whatever, or if it was just like a random thing that got no, misconstrued. No, it's just a stupid but, thing I said. It's nothing. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, there it is. You don't. You know what I mean? Like nobody has to fucking forgive me or do anything. I just want to say that I'm sorry. I apologize to her. She doesn't have to forgive me. I wish I didn't do it. You know, if it wasn't live, I definitely would have erased it. But, you know, that's that's what it is. And, uh, I, you know what I mean? What else can I say? All right. Okay. All right. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. I'm not sure what that was good or not, but. I just want, I guess, people to know that uh, it wasn't good. There it is. Let's go to the subreddit. Hey. <sighs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I like, I, I just, I don't know what. Like, I just fucking. I just do this shit all the time. And it's annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do need better. Con Hassan said I do need better control of these urges. 
I do need, I need urge control. I don't know if the, oh shit, you guys can see my screen. I don't know what the fuck else even to talk about. Yeah, okay, I won't go to this already. You guys, that's, you're right, that's a bad idea. What are y'all fucking... Let me just show this one, okay? Let me just show this one thing, okay? If I show one thing, let it be this. He's gonna live forever. Like they say, small dogs live forever. He's, gonna, he's like, I was like 15 years. And then I was like, the shit that was really fucking me up, it was like, I, I don't even know if Theodore is gonna remember him now when he gets older. Cheers, Listen, I deserve that one, right? And while I will say that it's about me, right? So I can say I thought it was funny, but the Chestnut song, it's just, it's been ruined. And I'll tell you what else. Y'all fucking, next time you guys hear the Chestnut song... You'll never be able to hear that song again. Here's what's going to happen. The next time you're faced with a horrible, tragic situation, you're going to think of the chestnut song in your head, and you're going to fucking laugh. And then you're going to know what it's like to be me in this situation. And now you all are fucking cursed with the chestnut curse. And even though we'll never listen to the song again, Potentially. That y'all are going to hear that fucking song in your head the next time you're at a funeral. I'm just saying. <laughs> 